With marijuana now being sold for recreational use in Massachusetts, concerns are on the rise about pets exposed to cannabis. Welcome back to Western Mass News at 430. I'm Jeff Kramer. Western Mass News reporter Taylor Jacobs went to a local animal hospital to get some important advice. Incidents of marijuana toxicity over the last year or so have increased over 300% or more nationwide. Uh, it's certainly worse in states that uh, there was been legalized. Since voters said yes to legalizing marijuana here in the Bay State, Alberto Fernandez, the medical director at the VCA Animal Hospital in Springfield, has been seeing an increase in toxicity cases. In fact, he tells Western Mass News that it's a weekly thing. We see these cases on a weekly basis, uh, anywhere from two, three, and five a week. Fernandez says what's impacting dogs for the most part, but other household pets as well, is one of the cannabinoids that make up marijuana called THC. He explains that it doesn't take much for your dog to start showing the classic signs of overexposure. Extremely high doses can certainly cause seizures, uh, respiratory paralysis or difficulty breathing. So they can vary from very, very mild, from mild difficulty walking uh, and changes in behavior, depression, be more quiet than usual, to completely collapse and almost unconsciousness. Can they die? So very rarely uh, marijuana or THC toxicity becomes lethal. According to the American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, last year in Massachusetts, chocolate was the number one toxin in pets. Fernandez says with chocolate edible products now available, it's a double whammy. Chocolate toxicity may present other clinical signs like tachycardia, vomiting, diarrhea, and it can be quite severe. In some cases, it can result in pancreatitis. Western Mass News caught up with the owner of this beagle named Baby. You don't want weed, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, and people are terrible to do something like that to an animal because it does alter your brain. You feel differently, and why would you want to do something like that to an animal who has such instincts that would be clouded? Two more tips for you. Store your products up high, where Fido can't reach them. Also, if you're going to smoke inside, clouding the room up, get the pets out of there. For Western Mass News, I'm Taylor Jacobs.